Now time to catch up with our women's sevens team. They've just returned from Hong Kong and China and they have a lot to look forward to in the not too distant future. Here's Andrew Swain. The Australian women's seven side are less than three months away from the trip of a lifetime, a trip to the Rugby World Cup sevens in Moscow. In the meantime, they've been to Hong Kong and China. How was your dinner at the um, Hong Kong restaurant? It was quite splendid. Hong Kong was a warm-up event for the IRB World Series event in China. For the record, they finished second. But it was an experience youngsters like Tiana Penatani and Brooke Anderson won't forget. It was really exciting to score in my first international game, but um, as I said, the, whistle, the game's not over until the ref blows a whistle, so I just had to stay focused and do my job on the field, but it's a good feeling. Brookie, you also scored with your first touch at international level. Yeah. The women's side got to stick around in Hong Kong to prepare for the China tournament, even get out to the stadium to support the men's side. The highlight was definitely the stadium. Hong Kong stadium is mental. The atmosphere is electric. China posed a completely different threat. It was the one they'd built up to, a World Series event. <laughs> They put in plenty of hard work. Unfortunately, it wasn't as happy an ending. They finished seventh in China, a long trip home. But there were plenty of positives. The tour of Hong Kong and, and China, um, how do you reckon the girls went? I don't know, honestly, we didn't get the, the results we were after. Um, there was some, some good efforts, for sure, by some, but uh, I think we were found out on the second week of the tour. And you know, we've got plenty of, plenty of work to do moving on. How was your first um, Australian Sevens tour? Yeah, very nice. Good to catch up with the girls. And if you're out and about in Sydney this weekend, get out to St Ignatius College for the National Women's Sevens Championships. Plenty of rugby talent on show and a few future stars, without a doubt.